Welcome back to Tain Slide Info. Any country would feel happy and comfortable only when they get the desired results post any trial they are performing with the missiles, aircrafts or helicopters. One such satisfaction is yet to be achieved by India and this is with regards to their nearby long range all weather subsonic cruise missile. Nirbhai is a long range all weather subsonic cruise missile which is designed and developed by the aeronautical development establishment which is a part of the defense research and development organization this missile can be launched from multiple platforms and it is capable of carrying conventional and nuclear warheads this video will provide my view on the nirbhai missile which has been tested many times and most of the time there were no proper satisfactory results with it starting from the first flight there has been some or the other problem with the launch or the result the surface version of nirbhai missile was test fired for the first time during march 2013 from the integrated test range at chandipur in balasore district of odisha this maiden flight of nirbhai was not a successful one as the missile veered away from its trajectory forcing the command center to detach the engine from the missile and destroy it in mid flight not only the first flight there had been many more tests which happened with these nirbhai missiles and most of the results were not as expected few trials were postponed for the launcher problems or due to climatic conditions the nirbhai cruise missiles presently were powered by the russian made npo saturn 36mt mini turbofan engines and drdo wanted to validate the indigenous short turbofan engine propulsion system so that it can enter a full scale production from 2021 tentatively as per the latest update it looks like drdo is all set to test the troubled nirbhai missile under a different name which is indigenous technology cruise missile the itcm which stands for indigenous technology cruise missile is a derivative of nirbhai cruise missile with indigenously developed manik engine to be more precise the standard nirbhai subsonic cruise missile is powered by a russian npo saturn 36mt engine but whereas the indigenous technology cruise missile which is based on the nirbhai missile platform is equipped with gtr's manik short turbofan engine it is said that drdo would perform the test during the upcoming week in october 2021 and it would help drdo to evaluate the manik engine for a range of 750 km and this test would be conducted from the integrated test range as well again this time drdo is hoping that there are no climate related issues or problems with the engine being used so if all goes fine and if the missile gives expected results it would make drdo work on other variants of this missile which can be used by all the forces which is indian army Indian Navy and Indian Air Force Unfortunately if the upcoming results are not satisfactory which i hope shouldn't be will lead to the completely scrapping of this particular project It is normal for any organization or country to scrap or cancel the project if all the results are undecided or unsatisfactory So let's hope the upcoming trial of DRDO using the newly named nearby missile which is indigenous technology cruise missile is a successful one thanks for watching stay tuned to tenslade info for more defense and aviation related updates thank you